Parenting during the pandemic as COVID-19 continues the toll on parents, especially those juggling it all alone. It can be really overwhelming. All new this morning, Liza Lucas catches up with one local mom working to stay afloat and expert advice to protect your mental health. Okay, sit down. Let's put your shoes on. Maybe it's the fireman's hat Ashley Johnson wears as she gets two-year-old Ashay ready for the day. Cute. Or maybe it's the dancing in the kitchen. But you'd never guess the burdens this single mom has carried over the past year. It was really rough for a while. We stayed in hotels while I was working the temp job. We first met Ashley in January when a tree fell into the home the young widow shared with her two kids and checked in later as she juggled providing for her family in child care. It's only recently with a new job and her four-year-old son now in school that Ashley feels like she's starting to recover. I think we're all just holding on the best we can, I'm trying to rebuild everything that I lost during the pandemic. Such worries are ones Dr. Marika Lindholm hears routinely on her social platform, empowering solo moms everywhere. Pretty scary situations around food, around high housing, around mental health. Just how do you keep it all together? A recent study from the Institute for Women's Policy Research reports young mothers continue to worry about economic insecurity following the height of the pandemic, and young single mothers worry the most, with 65 percent concerned about paying their bills and three out of four worried about a pay cut. That can take a mental toll, but Dr. Lindholm says there are ways to help. Team up. We do see the numbers going down. Many people are vaccinated. It is the time to get out on that playground, talk to other parents, start creating situations where you can help each other out. Another tip, reduce your standards and don't forget to remember your progress. Put your pot on the stove. Ashley, meanwhile, is finding extra support among parents online as she works to rebuild and let others know they're not alone. I think that building that sense of community and having a support system is the most important thing that you can do as a single mom. And we know it's hard, so here are a few more tips according to the Child Mind Institute. Acknowledge that right now you are in survival mode. Go back to the basics, set your priorities on what has to get done, then add to what you like to get done. Find your village. Find a few minutes a day for yourself. Want more? Head on over to 11alive.com.